Hi everyone, we have a lot of tomatoes. Today we're gonna make some tomato sauce and can it with my friend Dorothy. We'll see you inside. All right, we're at station one where I have a stock pot that is filled with boiling water, actually halfway with boiling water, and I have this colander that will fit right in here. I'm going to fill my colander with my tomatoes. Then I'll drop them in the stock pot and make sure it's covered with the hot water. And I'm going to put the timer on for two minutes. The tomatoes are ready to be dunked into a sink of cold water. And peel them and core them. Slice them into your large, clean stock pot. So my oregano has gone to flour, but it's really potent. So I'm going to stick it in the sauce hole, and after it simmers a while, I'll take it out. Okay, so I'm just going to keep that just in there to get the oregano flavor. My basil and parsley, I'm going to put through the food mill. So first I'll wash them, and then food mill them. Uh, skins and left, you know, tomato refuse. We feed them to the chickens or the goats. They love them. Excellent. Good. Don't waste anything. That's right. Why would you? Right. I like that. Okay, our tomatoes, tomato paste, our herbs, our garlic, six cloves of crushed garlic. And now we're waiting for our onions to be chopped up. Two onions chopped.
place your jars in your canning rack and lower down into 180 degree water in your canner. Make sure that the lids are covered with water approximately an inch and a half. Cover with your lid. Wait till it gets to a rolling boil. When your pot of water or your water bath canner comes to a rolling boil just like this, you're going to set a timer for 35 minutes for lower elevations, 39 minutes for the higher elevations and in between for the in between elevations. We'll come back in 35 minutes and I'll show you what to do then. If you do not like your sauce chunky and you want something smooth and you don't like the seeds in your sauce, what you could do is get a food mill, place it on top of a pot before you actually can and you have your salsa set. You strain it inside the pot and then put it back in another pot, simmer it hot and then put it in your jars. But I like my sauce chunky and I'm going to leave it like this. Here we are, 35 minutes, and are, I'm ready to take my jars out of the canner. I actually can lift, if you look here at the two handles, I can lift that up and lean it on top and then actually carry it over to the table, but it's pretty heavy because it's 10 jars. I'm gonna do one at a time. So here's my sauce. I'm gonna put it on a towel on my table here. Good, and I'm gonna wait for it to seal, and you can see if you, look at the lid, you can see that there's an impression around and that circle right there in the center in a little while will seal in. You'll hear it pop sometimes. So after I store, I actually have shelves in my basement and it's a cool, pretty dry basement. And it's really nice in the winter time if you want something quick to eat. You say, oh, let's have some pasta or calzones and, you know, get some sauce out. It's delicious. So I hope you can try this recipe. And if you do, please tell us on Instagram or make comments below. Thanks. Have a great night.